Hello, volleyball fans, and welcome back to Huntington Beach, California, Surf City, USA. We're here with the FIVB four-star Huntington Beach Open presented by the AVP. You heard the introductions. We've got a fantastic international flavored matchup on stadium court here. The Latvians versus the Dutch. I'm Matty Bishop alongside Kame Schalk to bring you the action. Kame, this is a uh, this is a big tool here. A couple hard-hitting teams. Talk to us a little bit about uh, about what the keys are going to be for this one. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a great battle. We got two really physical teams that also possess a lot of ball control. So the Dutch guys are known as one of the most physical teams on tour. They hit a lot. They pass and set well, and they swing a lot. So look for a lot of hard hit angle, a lot of hard hard hit line. They're not big shooters. Latvia, on the other hand, moves the ball around a little bit more. You got Martin Splavin serving at the line right there. He uh, he's one of the best defenders in the world, as you see him make a good dig there. He. He's been playing for a long time. He's a veteran, and he seems to have found a stable partner in Edgar's talks. This guy's been kind of bouncing around partners for a few years, and uh, man, these guys have been hot. They've won a tournament this year. They won a four-star in the Netherlands. They, uh, they're one of the hottest teams on tour, and, and uh, fun team to watch. Robert Mews in at the service line for the Dutch. The Dutch are wearing white. The Latvians in yellow. It's a big swing there by Edgar's talks. That was a big swing. He, uh, he's got long arms. He's not the, not the tallest blocker in the world, but man, he can get up and elevate. Watch him here as he waits on this approach behind the ball and uses that long reach to hit that deep corner. Latvians have been the, uh, were the scourge of Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lucina's tournament. Both of, both of their losses came at the hands of the Latvians. Nice side out there by Alexander Brower. Use him with the serve again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what a cut shot from Martin second Line shot to the That's just part of his game. He's a uh, three-two. Here's a here's a net view of this this cut shot by him. He is a crafty, crafty player. He'll wait, wait, wait. Look at the defender and then make a late shot. Very tough to get that ball. So slick. Here's Muse and a little bit of wind kicking up this afternoon. Nice wow. pickup with the shoulder from Brower. Oh, oh yes. Big Let me nets. hear for that rally. My goodness. The Huge shoulder play right cover. There. Good block followed by an amazing After cover. After a beautiful diving block from Tokes. I personally like the set the there Dutchies by Muse. Keep it alive, amazing set the here off, off three, balance. Three. Watch this. Rolls him up. It's a little tight, but it gives him a chance at least to score. A little too aggressive by Edgar Tokes. Big jump serve. Yes. That's the game for the Netherlands. They, they want to jump serve. They want to rip serve. Especially Alexander Brower. He goes back and tries to rip a lot. They play a high risk game. They rely on having really good side out, which they they almost always do. And uh, if they're scoring from the baseline, they're gonna they're gonna consistently win. And they have been. They've they've won two events this year. One of the hottest teams in the world, no doubt. The flags are any indication. The Dutch just switched over to the good side. However, we know that the wind is swirling in this stadium here in Huntington Beach. Nice pick up by Brower. Nice shot. Shot down the line. Apparently that was called out. It looked in. Uh, it looked, it looked in, in to me, but there was no real discussion about it. I think the defender's hand caught the line, and that's what yeah. moved it. Good call by the line judge there and the up official. Oh, nice pick up by Brower. Okay. <laughs> what wow. I think about that play. A little early on that From approach, Martin. I think. Wow. <laughs> Ball took a little bit of a gust backwards and Brower made a, just an athletic play. These guys are big time athletes. The long arm of uh, the long arm of the Dutch team there. That's unorthodox, difficult to read at best. Not something you want to try at home, I don't think. You want to stay behind that ball. I think I dislocate my shoulder. This <laughs> <laughs> Martin's Plavin serving. Right up the middle nice in the swing seam. from Brower. It's just such a tough ball to, to stop, Plavin. as you can see here on the replay. They Tom's run a bit of a tempo Brower offense, kind of to the pin a little bit. If you're hitting deep middle like that, that's going to score.
Brower misses with the serve. Got to be aggressive. This level of play. Loser is done. I believe it is a seventh place if you lose this match. Winner gets another chance to try and get through to the final, or semifinals, pardon me, later on today. Around the block for the put away. Bit of a tight there set there for Brower. That's Brower will be play. Lucid serving uh, Kind of changed the angle of his hand a little bit, kind of straightened his arm a little bit more than he normally would, and kind of a bit of a spatch to the corner. It's a smart shot on a tight set, avoiding the block. Use it, rips and he from the right line. on the sideline. Beautiful Jump serve down the line. Robert we switch is, sides. Uh, eight. Something six. that he hasn't done his whole career. He's been a very, very good uh, jump float server, but you can tell he's working a lot on that. Case in point, right there. That was a beautiful serve. Such a high point of contact. That ball gets there quick. Nice. Yeah, he's a tall dude. Here's the jump float, just wide. thing about the Dutch team is that they side out so well that they don't let it phase them if they do miss a few serves you know they're they're gonna they're gonna score when they do serve in so when they because they're serving so tough yeah Robbins with the ace. ace man the bottom is dropping out of that thing really good serve breeze out of it I think. Clavins to serve again eight here, this ball just kind of falls out that's that's tough and then the opposite this happens. one bottom did not fall out of that one half out of bounds Edgar talks. What a shot. He loves that sharp angle on that quick set. We saw that against Phil and Nick quite often this morning. These guys are in rhythm. That's a very tough ball to get. He's got a very fast arm, similar to the other Latvian, Giannis Smedens. Quick, quick arms. These guys are high level volleyball players. Nice kill off the block there from Brower. Listen to the Dutch team on uh, on the Sandcast podcast this week, talking about some of the exciting things that they have going on. How excited they are to be here in Huntington Beach to play in this environment, Surf City, USA, and basically an AVP produced FIVB event. It's, uh, they seem to be drinking in the moment, really enjoying this experience. Yeah, they're loving it here. I mean, volleyball capital here. It's amazing, and they're going to actually stick around, I think, for the next week and. Enjoy it a little bit, train a little bit out here and before they head to Brazil. I'm going to say there's probably some decent training partners for yeah. them to connect with. It's not a bad place to train. And we, we might we may go out for a round of golf as well. They've been, they've been itching. You know, we can't talk enough about this Huntington Beach Open event. As you see, Southern California pouring in to check this out. We've got uh, elimination matches happening. We've got all sorts of sponsors set up. It's really incredible. Started my day with some kicking horse coffee. Of course, there's a big beer garden by Kona Brewing Company. A little liquid aloha for you on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. Breeze is keeping it nice and cool. It's sunny. Best place to be right now. By upcycling all of their bananas. Stop by the booth to learn more. Try out some banana bites, banana brittle. Lapia's got the momentum coming out of this timeout. Dutch guys kind of gave up a couple there, but see what uh, happens. Seems like they're uh, heading to the good side, according to how this match has been going. Martins Plavins at the service line. He goes to Musin. Hammers it off the tape and down. So even when he misfires, it yep. works out well. And that's one of his favorite shots. He loves the sharp angle. When he gets blocked, he, he goes a little bit sharper to tries to avoid the block. Brower to Tokes. Tokes now swings down the line and out of play. Just out. Big aggressive swing down the line. Lots of room, and he didn't miss by much. Ellen's coming into your living room there. No, no, no. Yes. 
Good block there by Busen. Not a lot of places to go on that low, fast set when the, uh, when the blocker makes a good read. Pokes over the top, picked up by Brower. Brower now takes a look. Edgar Tokes gets up, gets on that. Oh, a little bit of controversy. Wow. Edgar Tokes looked like he was going to kick that ball. I'm not sure he touched it. I think it's a bit of interference there. We're going to take a look at the replay here. I think it's just the idea that you're on the ground and the guy's kicking at you is... Oh, he did touch it. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a play quite like this. I don't know if I, that, that seems like a somewhat undisciplined thing to do when the ball's yeah, on the other side. And you may, I mean, it's, I've never seen one quite like it either. I'm with you. You need to obviously let your opponent try to make a, make a play on the ball. So I, I, I agree. I mean, if, if I'm going for a ball, it looks like someone's about to kick me or the ball. It's going to throw you off. He had a chance to play it, even though quite possibly he wouldn't have got it. Well, and if, the, if the movement wasn't intentional, if the ball just bounced off his leg, then I think there's no call. But that's He's a very intentional lead. move to touch that yeah. ball. Good call it's by the It's a bit of an unsportsmanlike play, it is. if anything, you know? Agreed. Yeah! And then the service Goal ace from Brower. Rach wrist away down the line. Now the Dutchies have all the momentum. That is a 5 nothing run for the Netherlands. A timeout by Latvia. Timeout by the Latvians. We are here at the FIVB Four Star Huntington Beach Open. Brought to you by Truly Spiked and Sparkling. Up in our Club AVP Lounge, there's uh, opportunity to try the, uh, it is basically bubbly water with booze in it. It is uh, pretty awesome. Kona Deep, uh, along with Kona Brewing Company, sponsors this event. Of course, lots of our, our thoughts and, and good vibes going out to the folks on the big island of Hawaii, having a rough week, a rough weekend, lots of uncertainty for them as the volcano is erupting. We, uh, we hope our AVP family out there is staying safe, getting the help they need if they're, if they're in need. We've got a couple more matches coming up here on avp.com today. We've got uh, Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes in a loser out match coming up here shortly. And then we've got uh, some Canadian women's action. Number one team in the world playing. Missed serve there by Brower. And then I believe we finish it up with uh, Theo Brunner and Johnny Hyden and their uh, loser out match, their effort to try and get to the semifinals. So still plenty of volleyball coming up. Good schedule to have. Those guys are playing some really good ball, so we'll see if they can hit hit up the semis. Edgar Tokes to serve for the lap in yeah. after yeah. Busen and making it look easy. That's uh, I mean that's a big boy with a good good amount of ball control there. As you can see on the replay here, he's way over the net. Such Pretty a really tough to defend that. Difficult angle to hit. Yep. But when you've got that much height, that much reach. Best in the world here in Huntington Beach this weekend. They're really working on Tokes here in the first set. Yeah, they need to, uh, Latvia needs to have a good side switch here. This is the good side. They've been, every team's been making the points on this side, so they need to come away with a 5 2 potentially switch on this side. Tokes with the serve. Music. Takes a look, roll shot over the top. He's got that one in the toolbox as well. Nice, nice delay, hanging, shot over the block. Early on in these guys' career, they literally hit every single ball. And you can tell they've worked on their game a lot. They've got a little bit more range, a little more tools. Huge block from Busen. The Dutch are in control here in the end of set number one. Watch this push over the net. Oh, where do you go? Tokes gets another chance. Oh, uh, this time he works around the block. Nice job by Edgar there. Yeah, smart change up there. Took a good look. Chipped it right over Robert. Brower dug by... Oh, 
dug by Plavins and then a, uh, it would have been a cheeky shot. That's a tough error at that point in the game. I mean, I think he had an opportunity to set Plavins. I don't mind going on two there, but be aggressive. It was, it was there. Nice shot over the top from Tokes. Brower now for the Dutch. Oh, that was right on the line. What a swing. Yeah, that's a great shot. So tough to get that ball. Set point here for the Dutch. Set number one. Going for the uh, thumb up, little cut shot. Cross body to the short corner on the top spin serve. Side out for the win here. Sir Brower. Ball drifting a little and he pushes it long. Out of bounds we play on here in set. Lappy is gonna scrap away and you know they're never gonna give up. These guys work super hard. Dutch are taking no chances. They are taking a timeout just to break the momentum a touch as a couple points go the Latvians' way. It's an interesting team. I mean, this is a new team this year, and uh, Plavins had a lot of success early on in his career. He was playing with Jonas Smets. They, uh, they got a medal at the 2012 Olympics, a bronze medal, and they ended up breaking up after that season. And since then, Plavins has been jumping around from partner to partner and trying to find a consistent guy he can win with. And, He's had very inconsistent results, up and down, and uh, hasn't really found that guy to mesh with. It seems as though this year he's found found his guy. Edgar's talks, I mean, he's been playing for a few years now, never had any results worth noting, really, until he started playing with uh, Martin Splavins. Since they've been together this year, they, I think they must have had an amazing off-season training. Latvians train so hard, but they are, uh, they're looking really in shape, and they're really strong. Kind of out of nowhere, to be honest. This, this is a very strong team, so see what they can do here. If they can put a little more, more pressure on the Dutch. Still side or still set point for the Dutch here in set number one. They're working on Brower. Set tight at the net. Tox gets him. Brower with a decent set out of transition, and Tox is there to seal it off. Not much that music could do with that. And the Latvians are tough. They're just clawing their way back into this one ball at a time. Netherlands are kind of take their gas, their foot off the pedal a little bit. And I think you just need to go up and rip one right now. And Brower again, he pokes it over the top. It's a great pickup by Plavins. Set from Tokes, he's a little bit off. It's behind him. Nice pickup by Brower. Musen runs it down. Tight, Tokes at him. Pick up by Brower. Musen roll over the shot. What a smart play from smart Robert play. Musen. But regardless of that, I mean, Dutch were in control and, and Lapia pushed back. Take a look at the dig and the kills here, and they they push back, and they, they may have momentum going into the second set here now, based on the last few points there. That's a heck of a pickup by Martins Plavins. And then again, same thing for Alexander Brower. What great a nice take. pickup. Music, great job getting to that. Wow. And then a smart play to finish it. Robert Musen puts it away. Set number one goes to the Dutch. The Latvians will look to regroup here in set number two. The winner will have another opportunity to earn their way into the semifinals tomorrow. The loser will be in seventh place for this gigantic FIVB four-star event. As they say gigantic, we look at the crowds rolling in out there on court number one. We've got a, uh, another matchup, can't see on the scoreboard there who that is, but it's the same situation as this. Loser is seventh place, winner moves on to get another chance to get into the semifinals. We come back out for set two. This weekend has been fantastic to say the least and it's not done yet. We still got a few matches left on Elimination Saturday here on AVP.com and tomorrow Championship Sunday. We've got the semifinals and the finals for the men's and women's brackets coming your way. Alexander Brower sides out to start set number two. 
It's a good smooth shot. It's important to mix that in and kind of blend your offense a little bit. You don't want to be swinging all the time, and now, now Latvia is going to have to consider that Alex may be hitting that line shot a little more often. Flavin's on two, punches it off the block and down. I'm not sure if that was out of necessity or design there from Martins Plavins as the set or the pass was pretty tight from Tonks. A bit of an athletic play. He's just so good at determining how much speed to put on the ball. That's what you, see, you notice with him in transition and offensively he's just amazing at, at feeling out what he needs to do to score. Here's Plavins again after the dig, pick up by Brower. Nice hands from Musin. Down the line, Tonks gets it. Brower will get it again. Cover, a nice pickup from Plavins. Here goes Edgar Tokes. He runs it down. Here's Plavins, roll shot wow. over Muse, and he touched it, and it's down. And how about those Latvians? How about that effort? That's a hustle play. That ball went way in the air, and the wind blew it like crazy. And Edgar's Tokes got on his horse there. Watch this. That ball is way out of play. And it just kept going. Somehow gets it up to the net for an offensive opportunity. What a... What a transition set. Not something you can really practice. Nice dig by Plavins again, but a net violation against Muse or Brower. That's a tough, tough net right there. Oh, no, tough All net over violation him. against uh, Tomes, pardon yeah. me. Yeah, uh, Plavins is playing some fantastic defense. Get an opportunity there to get another point, but unfortunately, Tox was on the net. Oh, quick cut, he picked up by Brower, one-handed set, just out of necessity by Musin. Talks puts it away, Edgar Talks makes it 3-2 in favor of the Latvians. Smart play, shoveling up on, him up on two there, as you can see here on the replay. The defense is out of uh, position here, so it's, it's, uh, it's a smart play to just throw him up, half the court's wide open. Easy kill. This serve by Plavin, side out for the Dutch. Back to the service line goes Alexander Brower. Standing jump float has been very effective this weekend. And Martin Plavin has been very effective this weekend as well. He has, just a smooth player. Great defensively, chops it around in the side out. Love watching that guy play. Brower at Plavins, and he just couldn't quite control it. Alexander Brower swinging hard cross court. Martin Plavins has been up to the challenge a couple times, not on that one. Use it now. Big jump serve into the wind, gets the free ball back from Plavins. Brower, Musin, oh, so soft. Nice soft touch there. That's the advantage of, of their aggressive serving style. I mean, you're going to get some three ball opportunities like that. You're going to get some aces. Even if you're missing a couple here and there, these guys side out at such a high level. It's a, it's a very aggressive, good style to play. Well, just the power that they've demonstrated through the first first set and the beginning of the second it misses that one by a bit. It, uh, you know, you go back and you give that free ball, and you're in the back of your head, you just got to be like, oh, crud, here they come. And then he goes with that nice soft shot over the top into the yeah. open court. We've got a 6'11 guy jumping full full jump, coming in hard, and he chips it over line. That's, that's tough. Plavins. You expect these guys to hit a lot, so it's just tough when they're shooting. It's their reputation. They, uh, they are the big hitters on tour. They love this kind of harder surface. It's in good conditions for them here. Clavins pokes that one over. Here's Muse again oh, with the little yeah. roll over the top. And as you can see here in the reception. Yeah. Yeah, tight. Yeah. Another big oh, play. Yeah. Nice serve. Great serve, difficult pass from Tokes. Great set from Plavins, and Tokes pokes it down. Is that a pokey or a cobra? Were his fingers straight? I couldn't tell. I think it was a pokey, but I we'll see here on the replay, but that was impressive. Wait, that's, that's a great serve. It should have been an ace. That's almost as good as earning a point. I mean, in that situation, you're taking all that pressure off, you're back to the service line. 
What a play by the Labians. Brower, big swing across and off the block and down. Off the block, we put away eight to six. Let's switch sides. Tox is, is very close to blocking that ball. I think uh, for them to win this match, he's going to need to get a few blocks. He's close. He's up there. He jumps really, really well. And he's pretty good with his hands. So I think uh, if he can make a little adjustment on Brower, he, I think he'll be able to get him once or twice. I think that'll give him a chance to win this match. Here's in at the service line. Tox. Come on, come on. Little Same wrist away. Yeah. Showed it maybe a touch okay. early. Brower picks it up and talks right on cue. Kane gets the big block against Alexander Brower. He made a little bit of a different move on this one, if you can see here on the replay. Watch the step he takes right before. Well, it wasn't a step, but he got so low that he's able to dive into the angle. Some blockers will take a step to get that sharp angle. He's so dynamic that he can get so low and just jump into that angle. Very impressive play there. Not good side out from Alexander Brower. It's that. Uh, Brower, pardon me, as that ball is drifting into the corner. Nice recovery and nice touch shot to uh, to get the needed side out by the Dutch. Latvian starting to build a little bit of momentum here in set two. Netherlands will want to hang on to their advantage. Yeah, they just don't go away. They're they're never really concerned about being down a few points. They don't look stressed out. They just play their game, chip away. They're going to make a few points here and there. That's what makes these guys so great. Tough pass, tough set. Brower's gonna, nope. Nice pickup by Plavins. Musin thought he saw something that wasn't there. Plavins punches that one off what the block. Set. Oh, Robert Musin puts it away and a beautiful play from Alexander Brower to give him the opportunity to do it. It's so athletic here to see Tox making the shot off the hands. And then you got Brower moving complete opposite direction. Throwing up his guy on, on two, like, that is a just super athletic play. Strong work by the Dutch as we go into the technical timeout. Sitting here, came looking at the sailboats, a little bit of a breeze, nice sunny day. We are at the epicenter of the world of beach volleyball right now here in Huntington Beach. Yeah. FIVB four-star Huntington Beach Open. What a weekend this is, I mean, just so cool to see all the support for beach volleyball and it's so alive here. I mean, the courts on the outside are packed, you got center court full. We're, we're on Saturday, early on Saturday, we got a couple more days or another day here still, so things are only gonna get better from here. So get over here, check it out. It's a good place to be. All the best volleyball players in the world are here this weekend. You know, that includes the junior level. Something we haven't even talked about is the AVP First Pacific Zonal Championship is taking place alongside this event. So there's junior athletes from the Pacific Northwest and all over the country here playing alongside the pros. Fantastic event. Shot Martin's there by Flavins. puts that one away. What an experience for them to be here just competing alongside. You know, this is, this is a cool event. Got so many things happening. You know, one of my dad's quotes that I hated growing up, but just makes sense today, is if this doesn't light your fire, your wood's wet. <laughs> like if, if you can come out here yeah. and play beach volleyball in this atmosphere and you aren't just lit up and want to do it for the rest of your life, you're, uh, it's not going to happen for you. Yeah, you can try something new. All good. Robert Musin at the service line for the Dutch. They've got a one set to none lead, working their way through set number two here. Nice pickup by Alexander Brower. And a nice pickup by Plavins. Good defense on both sides. Wow. Brower off the block and Musin puts it down. What a set again from Brower. Massive play right there. A couple great defensive plays. Plavins all over the court. But Brower just one better here. Nice to have that 6'11 guy to throw the ball up to, oh, though, as well. That's for a, sure. That's a big boy. But that's very intentional. That's Absolutely. not a blind dig. That's a set all the way. And that is a level of athleticism that is, frankly, amazing. Thank you. That's a technical timeout now. 12 9, Dutch. Good start to the second set for them as well. They're just they're just so strong. But hey, Latvia's kind of sticking in there, chipping away. They're gonna keep going. They're a consistent, steady team. See if they can make a few uh, out of this timeout. 
Good work here on center court. We've got the Americans coming up next. The uh, the darlings of the American beach volleyball scene, Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes will be on center court coming up after this one. So stick with us here on avp.com. I'm Matty Bishop alongside Kane Shaw. Our coverage is brought to you by Clean Skin Sunscreen, Frontier Communications, Power Crunch. We mentioned Kona Brewing Company and Kona Deep. Lots of great sponsor involvement. We talked about the Hydro Flask earlier. Posted a picture for our girls of your uh, personalized AVP Hydro Flask there. Love it. And, uh, yeah, there's massive Hydro Envy going on <laughs> in the Northwest right now. Got to be my for sure my favorite water bottle. It just looks so cool too. Looking at it right now. Flavins with the serve. He's working on Brower. Nice set from Musin, and that one's off the hands and down. Alexander Brower has been a side-out machine. He's swinging high, and, and uh, I mean, that's what these Dutch guys do. They want to swing high hand. They want to move it around, as you can see here on the replay. Never a bad idea to swing high and deep. Just mishit that one a bit. Again, that's that risk-reward ratio. You know you're going to generate a lot of a lot of opportunities with that serve. You also know you're going to miss some. As they have, yes. Houston, nice hands for Brower, and he just misses down the line. That's the break Lappy was looking for. Brower's been swinging really well. Just turned that one a little out down the line. Edgar talks at the silver service line. Let's see if they can refocus inside this next ball out. Nice set from Musin, and yes, that's a nice refocus there from Alexander Brower. Great cut shot. Clavin's made a late move. Alexander Brower just kind of sees a move late, late second. Big high elbow gives him a lot of time to see and adjust to that move. And stuff block from Musin. That was Plavins who got the swing there. Great play by him. Rips the serve, sprints to the net. As you can see here on the replay, he's just getting over, taking away his space. Textbook right there. And again, jump top spin. Working on Plavins. Right up sides out there. Do you think he's working on Plavins or do you think he's just working into the wind? I think, yeah, I think he's just ripping it into the wind. If you're taking a certain risk on the serve, it's not a huge, with most teams in this league, it's not a huge, huge difference on who you're going at. Just try to be aggressive. Houston on two hammers that one down. He's just so athletic. By Mewson, Making things look easy. That is not an easy play to hit. As a right side, right handed player, just going on two is one of the most difficult things you can do. Brower does a good job of shoveling him a little bit wide, but that's a tough ball to hit. Brower to Tokes. Wick set over the top. Mewson almost got down for it, so a little change of tempo there from the Latvians. Finds them a point. And that's one of their strengths, is just. Things aren't working quite like they should be. Let's try to mix it up a bit. Run a quick set to the middle, poke it back. That's, a, that's just a smart play. Talks at the service line. Water net again as he's reaching, reaching hard for some of these balls. Talks is a little frustrated with himself there. He's trying to do a little bit too much. That was just a good shot by. It's also a good shot. That's what these Dutch guys will do. They'll frustrate you with how well they side out. It's a bit of trouble here. Lavins brings it back. I thought we were going to get a swing out of that yeah, for a second. Why. Comes Alexander Brower down the line. Nice pickup by Plavins. Tokes with the set. Plavins straight down the line, and that's a good transition play for the Latvians there. They need more of that kind of play to get them back into this one. Up 
They much. definitely needed that point, and they're on the good side here, so they're going to need to steal a couple more over here. Yeah, oh, they do one right ace. there. Beautiful serve from Martins Plavins. Timeout for the Dutch now. Latvia is right back in this game, as you can see. The serve timeout is moving. Yeah, hey, your natural inclination is that that ball is going to blow towards the sideline. The wind is going to help it towards the sideline. And there, it just does not. It drops right into the corner. Yeah, that's a tough, tough ace to take at that point. Dutch needs to refocus here and just make sure you get this next side out because you're still in control. You're still up by a couple. It's a good timeout to take. This is the key. They've just got a side out to win here. Latvians looking to force a third set. Loser is in seventh place. Winner goes on, will have an opportunity to work their way into the semifinals later on this afternoon. Much more beach volleyball coming your way on avp.com. Stoked to have so much live coverage for you of this FIVB four-star event. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you tuning in. Grab yourself a uh, frosty cold beverage of your choice. and. Uh, Set up, we got a couple hours of entertainment coming your way. Martin's Plavins at the service line. 15 serving 17 here. Big point coming up. Yeah! yeah. Oh, and it's a nice job of siding out off the block by Alexander Brower. I think Tox could have had this, it was so close. It's fast swing though, it's a tough ball to get. His right hand looked like it was lagging just a little bit. Talks over the top. Oh, Brower knew it was coming. He knew that sharp angle was coming. Yeah, a bit of a missed opportunity there. I'm not sure if he was trying to go over on one there. Kind of hesitated a bit. Got caught with the ball right around his chin. 16 serving 18 now. Yes! A detail Nice side out by Brower there. It's a tough ball to get as a blocker when it hits the tape like that. Dribbles over. It's a good shot there by Alexander Brower. Back to the service line is going to be Robert Musen. He has been exceptional today. Look for the big jump top spin into the wind going right at Martins Plevins here. Seems to be his current recipe for success. And he tries to go after Tokes and misses. Latvia needs to make a little push here. They're on the tough side. They need to grind away a couple points here. It's do or die put it past time. Them, though. Well, that's one way to do it. Now you're just showing off, Martin Spellins. Yeah. <laughs> just a tricky player. It's a bit of a break for sure. They're right in this, though. Trickler. Clavins now goes to Brower. Sets a little bit off the net and he misses. Wow. Suddenly, suddenly here come the Latvians and it's 19 all. First team to score two points will win. The Dutch are trying to wrap up the set. Send the Latvians home. The Latvians trying to force a set number three. Here's Alexander Brower right down the line. Massive side out there. That is a confident shot right there. Latvia's making a big push here. Let's see if they can side this ball out. Match point for the Dutch. You can bet Brower's going to be going for this one. He's at the service line. He's been fantastic today. Top spin wow. into the seam and a service ace. That's Alex. what makes this team so great, I mean. Alexander Brower finishes it with style and true Brower music fashion. They will move on, have an opportunity later on this afternoon to earn their way to the semifinals for the Latvian team, Martins Plavins and Edgar Tokes. It is a seventh place finish in this brutal 48 team double elimination event in Huntington Beach. We watch, this is how you finish with your serve. Beautiful play from Alexander Brower. Oh,